this video we're talking about CSS outline okay to do that we start by structure adding the structure of HTML okay so we'll be making use of I want to make use of header tree okay so it's uh, this the output can accommodate uh, 10 um, 10 line of the H3 element. If I do one, it may not. I will need. I'll be need to scroll down and up because I'll be using here that tree. Let me give it a class because we'll be needing class in this tutorial. So let me give it a class name. Let me use number. Let me use one. Then let me use let me use the word hello. Uh, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Then let me duplicate the the code. Okay, shift a done allocating. Let's do it. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten now. Let's refresh. You can see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's ten now. Okay. Then let me change change the number of the class. Let me edit the number of the class so it will have. It the whole number will be unique, the class name will be unique. Okay, three, this one four, this one uh, five, this one will be five, this one will be six, then this one will be seven, then this one will be eight, not eighteen, eight. Uh, this one will be nine. Then now as this one will be not ten. So this is what we need. So the next, what we are going to do now, we are entering CSS. We use CSS to external CSS to style this. Okay. So we will be making use of um class selector to uh, illustrate the outline. So inside the CSS, we use our classes. The first, the first element uh, class here is a. Uh, the, uh, is one so we use dot one yeah oh I, I've not linked this yet let me link my CSS file here link link let me link my CSS file okay it's not linked okay inside the CSS let me use uh, uh, one dots uh, oh it's like you can't use numbers to do CSS you can use number for CSS um, you can use number for CSS class name okay, let me use letters let me say uh, oh okay, should I use let me use do this well um, I'm not going to do this again because if I want to use or it may not let me just try to refer to element. Let me just say um how will I do this now? Let me say let me use the letter, let me use the letter first. Uh this one second, then this one third, 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 then this one fourth. <laughs> This one fourth, uh, not ht but th. Then this one fifth. Or should I even use two one two? Let me use letter. Start with this first. Let me use one. Let me use then this one now. Say two. Let me say this one three. This one will be four. Then this one will be five. I think this one will make more sense. Then this one will be six. This one will be six. Okay. This one will be seven. So and then this one will be eight. This one will be eight. This one will be nine. 
then this one will now be 10. Cutting this one will make sense, it looks more okay. So let me start with one, okay. One, okay. Inside this one, now we'll start by using uh, we'll use the property for this outline, we'll be using uh, outline style to illustrate the outline in this video. So using outline, uh, outline, outline style, yeah, that's what you want. Okay, so we'll go, we're going through the whole of almost the whole of their may not be all them, but we'll try to go through some of their um, values here. So let's start with one author. author. Let's see the effect on our coach. Author. Okay. Why is it not reflecting? Oh, I did a very big blunder here. Very serious mistake. This is, an, this is a class. This is a class, okay. So, and I'm using the same header for all of them. So, what I will do here is, oh, God help me here. Yeah. I've committed a, a whole lot of blunder now. So, I'll use, I will say, a uh, hash string, the name of the element dot class, uh, class name, which is one. Yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. So, you can see now, you can see the, um, the effect of, um, outline auto on the on the test okay it looks like a border but it's not border it's not a border okay so let's duplicate this and add another add another one and see what happens okay shift add done we have about we have it about 10 so let's duplicate this our um uh, this let's duplicate let's duplicate it okay it's like let's be doing it one at one at a time I think it will be better so let's do it one at a time, okay? Uh, let me just copy it, Control C. Let me copy it. Each one I will just paste it and do it. Then move to, then paste it in another one. Okay, let's paste it, Control V. So in this one now, let's target. Um, let's use the class name. Um, two, yeah, two. Yeah, this one is the two, okay? Once I put the class name, it's the the property and the uh, it just automatically inherited the property and the value. So here I will be using um, none. None is part of what we see in the drop down list of the values. So none is as same as nothing, kind of zero, nothing at all, no value. So say none. You will not see any effect here, okay? This is for the second value. So let me add Ctrl V, the next one. Let me change it to 3. Okay, this is the third one. So we'll be adding, we're giving it a value of dotted. Let's see how it looks like. Dotted. You can see. You can see how it looks like. Okay. Let me do another one. Uh, Ctrl V. Let me change the class to four, the fourth one. Four, okay. So this place, I'll be using dashed. Dashed, let's see the effect. You can see the effects on the outline, the, the outline effect on the uh, output here, okay. Let's do another one, let's paste it. Then the next one will be, we'll be doing the next value we'll be adding is let's add the value of storage. Let's see what happens. Sorry, no, this thing is supposed to be five, not one. It's five. Okay. Yeah, you can see the solid effect. It looks similar to Autobot, it's not Autobot. There's a difference between them. Okay. The next one, let me introduce another va another value type to v so the next one i'll be using um double that should be give me a sort of a double line a double uh not here i'm supposed to change this one to six class six okay you can see that this is a double line you can see the effect you can see how it looks like okay then the next one uh, control V. Then 
I will change the class name which is seven seven oh, what am I doing seven yeah then let me change the value to glove and see what it looks like you can see how it, you, can, you can see how it looks like how the glove look like okay it looks like a sorry but it's not a solid this is a glove this is a glove okay then moving to the next one uh control v let's change this to eight the class name to eight eight then let me give it another one called reach okay let's see what that one looks like okay what is happening to this what is actually happening uh what is what is happening why is it not having effect here yeah? what's the problem oh okay okay yeah 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 i can see that the spelling is wrong the class name is different from the one we have here okay so i have to make that changes t before h not h before t so th okay you can see the effect this is how ridge look like it looks similar to um it looks similar to um, what's it called to solid to glove and solid, uh, but when we add width, we still add width. When we add width to the uh, to the outline style, then we we'll see how it will look like. We we'll see the difference in detail. Okay, let's add the next one. Um, uh, control V. Then let me change this to nine this to nine okay then the next one i'll be using is inset okay let me use inset inset okay you can see you can see this one see how it looks like but <laughs> you will not really understand it until we use um we increase the the tick the the width of the the outline then you will see the differences okay then the last one which is 10 class 10 class 10 then we'll be giving it outset giving it outset outset okay it looks almost like the same thing but it's not the same thing okay now the next thing we're going to do we are going to add width we're adding kind of a width to the to the outlines okay let's add a width to the outline and see how it looks like uh oh, i should should i even serve okay if i do it that way it may not really work or do it work instead of doing it individually let me just grab because if i want to add with and if i add with here now if i say uh let me see if i say something like outline outline uh width outline width if i say something like outline width and then give it the value of uh, let's say one em is not visible let me say two em how does it look like this i'm still on the first one let me see what is let me say something like how about tw uh, 20 pixels uh, 20 pixels uh, let me put colon semicolon it's supposed to have an effect why is it not having an effect on the letters let me figure it out okay instead of this name instead of doing this why not I should remove this then let me remove this okay then at the top here I can do it at the bottom but let me do it at top since I've covered the from this one to ten, so no need of going down. So let's just do it up here. Let me use let me target this header tray select and use it to try this uh, outline with and see uh, uh, whether it will work. Definitely it's supposed to work because doing it line by line. Let's start talking and start doing. Let me say header tray h tray h tray um block decoration inside this block decoration now uh, targeting this we are using the header trace uh using head uh, header tray 
um, selector, okay, which is element selector, which is header tray. So let me impute that. Um, let me try and use call and see what will happen. Let me say outline call and see what will happen. Um, outline. Let me close this one. Let me say outline color. Is there anything like that? I think there's, there's something like that. Let me use blue and see what will happen to it. Okay, so since it works here, that um, width will also work. Definitely, it's supposed to work. So instead of doing it line by line, I just grab the elements and then target outline color. I just add, target the um, outline, um, outline width property and then give it the value that I want. So let me just do, um, let me say uh, outline, instead of, let me just remove this color here. And replace it with width because the width is what I want. Outline width, okay. Then let me give it a value of let's say 1 em. See what it looks like. Okay, this is exactly what I want. Okay, then 1 em is too much. 1 em is too much. And yes, if you can notice, it's not affecting the author. I don't, it's not affecting the author. You can see that. Okay. Let me do uh, 0. Point, let me say 0. 0.2 em. What does it look like? It does not make. It doesn't see any change here. Let me say 0. 0.5. Uh, it's still good, but it's not that awesomely good. 0. 0.4 is too big. Yeah, this one makes a little bit sense. What 0. 0.3? Okay, so you can see the you can see the, the the differences. Although this one looks a bit similar, like this one, this uh, starting from counting from that one to which is 10, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, and the five looks similar. Which is solid. Six is solid. Yeah, this one is sixth one. This is the okay. The fifth one is. Uh, is solid yeah that is the fifth one solid then uh the glove looks looks like solid they look similar then ledge looks similar then inset looks similar then also looks similar okay but if is in uh border all these things will have different effects definitely they will, they will look differently let me just add color to it so it will look a little bit fine let me say uh outline outline uh outline color outline color let me give it a color of uh, let me say um let me use um aqua let me use aqua 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 let's see how it looks like okay what is this thing doing it's not responding let me use let me use it in hexadecimal since this name is not responding let me say zero zero ff okay yeah you can see yes this thing gave me exactly what i want wow it's perfect you can see the there's, there's i know that it must surely be a difference if you look close you see the difference now this if i let me increase the size let me increase the size a bit the size of the the outline let me increase the four no how about five perfect then let me widen my Oh, it's too big. It's too big. Let me reduce it to four again, so you can easily spread about four. Yeah, you can see the difference now. You can see that all of them are different. None of them is the same. You can see the solid. This number five is solid. This this fifth one is solid. In our code now, the fifth fifth one is solid. Here is this five. The fifth one is solid. Okay, then the the sixth one is double you can see the double line double lining you can see it very close very closely you can see the double line okay then the seventh one is glove you can see the style of glove look see how the thing looks it's different from um ridge ridge look different then it's different from inset inset and also the outset is also different you can see all of them are different so that is uh, outline in CSS 
this is the use the properties and the values so we mostly talked about the values different values of uh, outline style in uh, css so thank you for watching and see you in other videos